About a week ago, the FBI arrested the man who allegedly owned Silk Road, an online source of illegal drugs that accepted only bitcoins. What is most interesting is that the FBI has not yet been able to seize over 600,000 bitcoins without his password. The FBI can't crack it, or maybe they don't want to crack it. Maybe they want to use it as an excuse to try to shut down bitcoin. While the war on drugs has been an absolute failure by any metric, the war on property rights and the war on due process has been a resounding success for the feds. We've seen an abuse of civil forfeiture without due process, without people being charged with the crime. In many cases, the people who have their property seized are never charged with the crime. So one of the key reasons to stop prohibition is the ludicrous unconstitutional extremes the government has taken in property seizures. But it isn't just that bitcoins are hard for the feds to seize. They also offer something the feds hate even more, and that's privacy. Under the Bank Secrecy Act, financial institutions are required to report transactions to the feds and must also, quote, know, in other words, verify, customer identities. In other words, the Bank Secrecy Act means there is no secrecy with banks. But as we've seen with HSBC, when large banks know their customers are drug cartels or terrorists, the feds leave them alone if they're a big bank that supports the central bank fiat money scheme. HSBC was caught laundering money for Sinaloa and Zeta drug cartels. They were caught laundering money for Hamas, Hezbollah, and Al-Qaeda. Yet Assistant Attorney General Lanny Brewer said, HSBC would almost certainly have lost its banking license in the U.S. and the future of the institution would have been under threat and the entire banking system would have been destabilized if they hadn't just given them a slap on the wrist if they had enforced the laws against money laundering. But HSBC was too big to jail because they serve the fiat banking system and they partner with the feds in running drugs and in arming terrorists. The feds hate Bitcoin because it serves as an alternative to their banking system and their control. They would love to destabilize it, but that's not going to be easy. If the government tries to shut down Bitcoin like they did Liberty Reserve, they're going to have a problem. There is no single person for them to move against like Badovsky at Liberty Reserve. Bitcoins are both anonymous and decentralized, so it will be very difficult for the feds to try to shut it down. If they do, they will drive it underground. But if they can get a hold of the 600,000 Bitcoins, which are 5% of the outstanding total of Bitcoins at the time, they could try to destabilize it. Good luck with that. It will be very transparent if they try. For InfoWars Nightly News, I'm David Knight.